Hi guys, I'm Giuseppe Sapori and in today's video we're gonna look some of the Glow application using TTS Pro buttons. You can use this function to brighten and soften a particular part of the image you want to emphasize to. Here we have Glow 1 and Glow 2 that can be used alternatively for different Glow application, depending on your personal taste and use you want to do. The Glow 1 button creates a new adjustment layer filled black particularly helpful to brighten and soften. If I choose a white brush, I can paint over here to give a more soft bright feel on the water flow. A little touch here. I just want to make the brush smaller to cover this little flow on the left. Okay. And that's the before and after. We can also use glow buttons to give more energy to the spot of light. So for example I'm going to click on glow 2 and I select the color picker tool to select the color and make it warmer. Okay this. Now I select the brush and I make it a little bit bigger and just paint the highlights. Also over here, the light direction. Now the blending mode is set to soft light. Just change it in overlay to have a warmer light effect. And that's the before and after. You can always reduce the opacity if you want a softer effect. Other applications of glow buttons are, for example, to paint manually a vignette. To make this, I create a new glow 2 layer, select a black brush and I make it larger. I just paint in a soft vignette. In this way, the viewer's eye are forced in the center of the image. Here the before and after, and we can strengthen or soften the effect by opacity or changing, for example, the blending mode. The next function is to give more dynamics on sunrises or sunset. This is an application of light bleeding using Glow 2 button. To make this, I create a new Glow 2 layer and I select the brush, Open the color palette and select the color similar to sunset or sunrises. Click OK. With a big brush, set the opacity to 100 and just click once in the sky around here. Now we reduce the opacity to 30%. And I slightly reduce the brush size just to illuminate the foreground in the light direction and I make the same here. The Glow 2 layer is set to soft light on 30% opacity, but we can always play with to create a stronger or softer effect. So those are some of the uses of Glow buttons in TTS Pro. I hope you will find this video useful. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.